Hello and welcome. Uh, nice change update. And I want to show you some of my solutions. Um, I've tried to get it to work with pollutants, of course, um, F167 degrees uh, in here. We have some liquids uh, compressed and cooled down by the vapor chamber, uh, condensation chamber. I have um, like 55-56 degrees of uh, Celsius in here and you may can get away with this uh, if you put a second stage on Vulcan to cool it even more down. But um, I yeah, that's, that's some kind of black box, so I decided to put down my very own AC. It um, looks complicated, but if you know how a real AC works, it's not that complicated. So I try to explain uh, what I have done and why I have done it like I have done it. So uh, let's begin with the harder fit. Um, usually on a real ACs you have um, compressor, so this is my compressor uh, volume pump. Uh, it uses the gases inside of here to compress it um, and if you compress the gas enough uh, you will get the liquid. Uh, that's what's gonna happen here. Uh, in this case I have used water. I explain later why I have used water. Um, so with the water I can uh, yeah, compress it. The compression, the compression uh, um, process itself um, heats up the liquid, um, it ex goes over this uh, condensation valve, so the liquid goes out of this pipe in the radiator, you see it here, um, the radiator cools down the um, liquid, um, it evaporates because I have two less in it right now, um, we go out um, of the liquid uh, radiator. Um, I have uh, ditched the valve here because I'm shutting down the system at day because we have uh, over 600 degrees in the day and um, I'm shutting it just down for direct cooling. Um, yeah, so uh, we have now the liquid uh, expanded again over the expansion valve which uh, takes energy from inside. Uh, inside uh, pipe and tank. Uh, the tank is there to um, yeah, just make sure nothing is burst um, with some liquids. Oh, shit. Fell down. Um, yeah, yeah, so we have uh, about 6000 liters capacity. Uh, but just to make sure everything works fine. We have set up this uh, pressure regulator then to 8 kilopascal. So in this pipe we have uh, around about 8 kilopascal which means it should uh, cool down even more um, when it stabilizes the system. Uh, you see it was at 22, uh, uh, it's rising again. Um, but so let's see what's happening here. Um, I go round about uh, 6 kilopascal to compress the gas. And then you can go as high as 370 degrees before it becomes steam. So if you pressurize the water, uh, the, the steam, it gets liquid until nearly 360 degrees. That's why it's really good to use as coolant on Vulcan in the night at the um, most cases. So if you go down and set the pressure to about Eight, what which has done on the expansion valve, you get, a, you should get out a temperature of six degrees um, Celsius, which is really great. This wide span allows you to cool down to um, on on Vulcan at least. It's a really good uh, uh, cooling. Yeah, but that's what's done here. And you compress the gas again. The compression um, takes energy. Uh, and heats up the water here, uh, goes over the condenser valve and so on. Um, at least uh, I have of course one um, 
IC10 to control the whole thing. You see, we, we have 20, uh, 200 degrees and it's, it's still working because of that very high. Sorry. I pushed the talk button, is that the mouse and I have set this to plus. So, no worries about that. Um, as you can see, we can just use the temperature up to 370 degrees before it really becomes steam. Uh, the only issue with it, I have not enough water yet um, to get up to that high pressure, so we have to maybe set down the temperature a bit um, to get our the nighttime temperature of 127 and then a pressure of uh, yeah, 145 kilopascal should do it. So, um, that, uh, in the IC10 code. But this is my IC IC10 code. I have a liquid pressure analyzer. Uh, first of all, he measures the temperature of the liquid um, and the pressure uh, inside the pipe for safety features. So, we have the compressor uh, volume pump, we have the uh, expansion valve, which uh, the pressure regulator, which I not have uh, used it in the code yet. Maybe I gonna use it later, so it makes no uh, difference yet. Uh, we have the digital valve, which is when the radiator um, heats up the gas over 600 degrees in the daytime. I just don't want that steam inside of the rest of the system. Um, and I wait just to cool it down again. Um, in that in that uh, pipe segment also is the LPA, so when it's cool enough, it, it just open up uh, again and uh, cool down. So um, yeah, I have to. What I've said earlier, we we get the segment down. So in this case. Because I have not uh, enough um, water in the system, I go down with the temperature, um, which in this case lowers the, the pressure I need uh, to get liquid. Um, but it's still gonna work. Um, I, I, I always like to um, put down my temperatures in, in Celsius and adding the absolute zero. Um, that's what I have done here um, because it's it's more readable, human readable. I say, um, yeah, you can write down the temperature also in Kelvin because LPA works with Kelvin. But I, I really like in all my programs to have just C took um, absolute zero set and uh, adding it to every temperature so I, I easily know what the, my tablet is showing and I just type in the Celsius and that's it. The, the adding of the temperature of the set point just happens automatically. I want uh, to max pressure in the liquid system maximum of five uh, five thousand eight hundred um, kPa, which is five point eight megapascals, um, just to prevent the pipe from bursting. And then I shut down just the compressor as fa safety feature. I have not enough molds or liters uh, of liquid in the system that it's ever gonna reach it yet um, but in case uh, I gonna fill it up a bit more it just shut down the compressor all right um, what I'm doing here in the loop is read the temperature of course if it's below the set point um, it, if it's higher uh, like the set point I got, uh, shut it off compressor off uh, the digital valve on the liquid side I shut off um, jump back, repeat until I have. Uh, I'm under the set point. When I'm under the set point, um, what I'm doing is uh, read the pressure. If we lower than the max pressure, we set the compressor on, we set the uh, digital valve on, um, and everything should work again until we reach a higher outside temperature. And that's it. That's how you do it. Uh, with water um, and yeah you see it's dropping down because we have set up uh, it to eight kilopascals eight kilopascals is about six degrees 
and you see here we had eight kilopascals. We have oh, seventy crystal. Works perfectly fine. If you have pressure points set, it should reach that temperature. Warning. And equalizes everything. All right. That's that's the whole magic that happens here. Okay, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have questions, if you want a code or something, just write it in the comments. I can upload it in the Steam uh, workshop if you want it. Uh, but it's not that complicated. Just pause the uh, video and you can just write it down. There's no copyright. <laughs> um, if you have um, better solutions, uh, tell me. Um, um, I, I don't think that's that's the way to go with that web chambers here. I, I rather do I see myself because I exactly know what's happening here. And if you have a schemata of a real AC, it's not that complicated really. You just need to know which is the boiling point, um, which is the uh, point it freezes. Uh, keep an eye on that, not overflow your system because it's getting real hot inside here. So the pressure rises really much, so don't overfill the system. If you put more in it, it's maybe later on a good idea to add some safety features in here um, that you're not gonna yeah, um, over, over pressure the system at all. But I have that less um, molds in that nothing should uh, explode yet <laughs> uh, or burst, let's say burst. So. Um, yeah, see pressure goes up. Uh, it's it's nothing to worry about. We're under one megapascal. Six is the maximum of the liquid pipes now. Um, this is just a filling uh, pump. I just have to use to to fill it a bit. Um, so no worries about that. That has nothing to do with the actual AC. Also, if you combine that thing um, with a cooling tower and um, a, a big uh, tank maybe uh, and capture the, the night air you can run it maybe 24 7 um, but i decided to do a direct cooling uh, on vulcan so it's only really cooling down at night but it should hold temperature at, um, at day i think i i not connected it yet i have to set up the, the, the ac and i will uh, i will <laughs> report you what's what it's gonna do when it's under load. This is not under load yet and my battery is empty and I have to drink anyway. So I'm gonna end this video now. Um, but I hope uh, this inspires you a bit. And um, yeah, expansion valve, regulator, compressor, vo um, compressor volume pump set to maximum, uh, condensation valve, liquid pipe analyzer is all you need to make um, an actual AC. This is only the solution with water on, on Vulcan. Um, this set up with the condensation chamber and liquid chamber and pollutants should be fine on Mars or if you play on uh, not, not that hard planets, I say. Uh, then, then just go with that, but um, if you're looking for more interesting or harder stuff, then maybe this is the solution for you. Um, Yes, um, I want to say thanks to Elmo for his cooling bits. Uh, they helped me out in the past. I missed that um, tips for the new face system, so I, I decided to figure it out myself and, and make a video about it. All right, uh, thank you very much.